kids, it's reading time again with Teacher Mylene. Alright, today is the first day of our fourth term and let's welcome March with a very big smile on our faces. Okay, this time kids, we are going to learn something new. Okay, today we are going to learn how to read words with digraph. When we say digraph, they are two letters that when you put together, they create only or they will create one sound only, just like this. It's the C and the H, and when we put together, they will become CH. What's the sound? It's CH. Very good. We have another one. It's the S and H. When we put together, the sound is SH. Can you do it? SH. Very good. Now we have another one. It's the W and H. When we put together, the sound is W. W. Very good. And we call them digraphs. When we say digraphs, they are two letters. When combined, they will create one sound only. Alright, that is digraph. Now, let's practice reading words with the digraph SH and WH or the digraph SH and W. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's have first SH. Let's read. Ship. Ship. Oh, wow. It's a big ship. We can say this on water. Next one. Shoes. Of course, you're wearing this in, on your feet. Shoes. Sheep. Sheep. It's an animal. Okay. Next one. Shadow. Shadow. Shadow is a dark shape formed when the light is blocked. Look at the kids. They have their shadows. Next one. Show them. Show them. Shovel is a tool used to carry sand and dig a hole. This one is a garden shovel. Garden shovel. Next, wash. Next one, dish. Dish is a round container used to serve food. That's the dish, and the boy is washing the dishes. Remember, kids, that the diagram sh can be seen at the beginning and at the end of the word. Next one, let's proceed now to w. The diagram w. It has only one sound. Now let's read weir. Wheel is a very fast turning, just like this one. It's a very fast wind that is turning, or you can see the wheel of the washing machine. Next one. Whiff. Whiff. Whiff is a faint smell. You can just smell it for a brief second or a short time. Just like the smell of the flower. Next one. Wharf. Wharf is a place where the sheep lands. Or 
we can say it is the other term for talk. Next one. Wait. Wait. We have another four questions that also begins with the W-H or the W. We have what, when, where. Now, let's have the phrases and sentences. Remember that when reading phrases and sentences, you need to start from your left going to your right. Again, from your left, going to your right. Now, let's read. Ships on the port. Ships on the port. Next one. There are ships on the port. There are ships on the port. Let's do it once more. There are ships on the port. Very good. Next one. Wheels of the car. Wheels of the car. Wheels of the car. Now let's put it in a sentence. The car has four wheels. The car has four wheels. The car has four wheels. Great job. Let's have another one. Sit on the wharf. Sit on the wharf. Sit on the wharf. Now let's put this in a sentence. Mom and dad sit on the wharf by the sea. One more time. Mom and dad sit on the wharf by the sea. Mom and dad sit on the wharf by the sea. Good job, kids! That's all for today. See you again next time. Bye!